Tattersall's July sale concluded on Friday after a week of strong sustained trade, which saw them register the third highest turnover in the history of this sale. The final session was headlined by the sale of Sir Michael Stout's listed place Steyer Laffey, who made a price of 105,000 guineas. The 100-rated son of Noble Mission prompted interest from several leading national hunt buyers who pushed the successful purchasers Mark and Arthur Campion of AGC Bloodstock all the way to the session topping price. My son Arthur uh, spotted him first of all and he's, he'd been following the horse uh, for a little while and he'd, he'd had his eye on him and when he came up in the catalogue he said listen dad we need to go and have a look at this. So I came along and we, we, we both really liked him as a big fine scopey horse, been very very well looked after uh, by Sir Michael, the size and the, the frame uh, to fill and fill again and um, no, we, 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 we were taken with him. It's just natural ability, the size and scope is there and just attracted to go jumping to be honest. And we, we, we're lucky enough to have the opportunity to buy an ice horse and, and we've been lucky enough to, to get him. Another sought after offering during the final session was King Triton, an invincible spirit gelding from Roger Varian's Carlberg stables, who was knocked down to train a Grant Tewer and DPA bloodstock for 100,000 guineas. The unexposed offering, who is out of a half sister to champion sire Dubawi, will race in the colours of former 32 Red Supremo Ed Ware and will join a stable who's been operating at an impressive 25% strike rate this year. We like the form of him. Um... He fits, fits the bill for what we were looking for. We wanted a, a proven horse with something with a bit of potential to go forward and, and he fits that bill. We'd probably, probably get him home and we'd have a little look at there's a, th a three-year-old's only mile handicap at the Ebor Festival at York. We'd probably have a look at that. He's got a great temperament. He's out of the Dubawi family and he's, he's, a, he's a really good size, a really nicely put together horse. It's been a phenomenal season. The strike rate is probably one of the best in the country this year. Do you have to pinch yourself with just how well it's been going? We do, honestly. It has been going really well. Um, we just keep running them and they keep winning, so long may it continue. Lot 677 Frankel Gelding Cap Francais also proved popular topping the morning session when selling to trainer Ian Williams and Richard Ryan for 88,000 guineas. The 100-rated listed placed offering was consigned by Ed Walker Racing and having returned from a winter spent in Dubai, his new trainer is looking forward to a versatile profile that opens multiple possibilities. He has a level of ability in his stallion, Frankel. They seem to progress on as they get older and uh, we've had great good fortune with an older Frankel horse in the Grand Vizier, so um, yeah, that was, that was the main attraction. I bought on spec, sadly. I didn't think it cost quite so much, but uh, once, I, once I was in, I, I just sort of got some plans, maybe take him abroad during the winter next year, or this year, stroke next year, and um, he just strikes me as a horse with a, with a bit of time who could you know, certainly run well in some quite big races. In addition to King Triton, Roger Varian's stables were also responsible for the sale of Group 2 Mill Reef winner Pierre Lapin, who sold for 80,000 guineas to Shamrock Thoroughbreds. The gelded son of Capella San Severo, who is a half-brother to the champion two-year-old sprinter Harry Angel from the family of Mrs Gallagher and Supremacy, will join Adrian McGuinness in Ireland, having been signed for by Stephen Thorne. We were very keen. He's, got a, he's a horse, obviously, with a big profile, a good rating, a highly rated two-year-old, and... Um, Obviously struggled last year for whatever reason, but he's a horse with plenty of size, so we're hoping that he will, he will bounce back and we'll give him all the time in the world to do that. Hopefully um, we'll freshen him up a little bit and, and, and get him ready for an autumn campaign and um, you know, he'll tell us where, where, where he's going really. 80,000 guineas was the price also paid by Joseph O'Brien for progressive Philly Royal Dynasty, who was sold to the trainer from Mohammed Mubarak's Linden Lodge stables. The seven-time winning mare by Charm Spirit is ultra-consistent and hails from the Mion Valley stud family of Group 1 winners Milligram, Speedy Borning, Annapurna and champion three-year-old filly, one in a million. Life on the Rocks, an unexposed fascinating rock cult from Kevin Ryan's Hambleton Lodge stables, made 80,000 guineas when signed for by trainer Richard Fahey and Frederick Tillitsky, who was celebrating his 35th birthday at Tattersall's with a busy week at the July sale. So far we've uh, got six, so it's, it's been a very good week. It's uh, been a very good sale, um, especially for myself and obviously the clients that I have, simply because um, there were many, many horses going around here that were the right price and had the right profile as well. So it's always been a lucky sale so far. 
At the conclusion of the three-day sale, Tattersall's marketing director, Jimmy George, summed up trade in what was a busy week at Park Paddocks. 2021 Tattersall's July sale, thankfully, bore absolutely no resemblance to the 2020 version, which was a, a much, much smaller catalogue because of all the COVID-related disruptions. This year's sale has been a really solid sale from start to finish with an amazing clearance rate of well in excess of 90%, the third highest turnover ever for this fixture and similar level of trade you know, for average and median. So it's been really solid from, from start to finish. And I think one of the most amazing uh, things to consider is that the penultimate session of the sale was a 100% clearance rate, which I'm not sure I've ever seen a session that's recorded a 100% clearance rate under any circumstances. And if you consider that whilst this sale felt as if we are beginning to return to some semblance of normality. We're not there yet. You know, there are still serious travel restrictions in place. There's a lot of people that can't come freely into this country, but we still achieved a sale with a remarkable clearance rate and a level of trade very, very comparable, favourably comparable with so many of its predecessors. So overall, we're, we're very, very pleased. We're pleased for all the consigners and take our hat off to all the purchasers who have jumped through plenty of hoops to be here over the last few days and uh, competing with each other from start to finish. We're pretty confident that the August sale, which takes place right at the end of August, will be back to normal and, and open to all comers, which we're all looking forward to enormously. And I think another feature, a regular feature of the July sale and, and very much part of the success of this week were the really serious consignments from some of the major owner breeders. They're the backbone of sales like this at Tattersall's, the consignments from Godolphin, Judmont, Shadwell. They had bring in the buyers year after year and this year was no exception.